All right. Now, the first thing you're going to do when you've got your new system is fill the DI tank. So we're going to take you through that process. So you'd open the system, yeah, and we'll have to undo the main tubes into the DI tank. Now, there are washers in here, so just make sure they stay there. When you open that, And if, you, if it looks a bit loose, you can take it out and just put it in here on the lid. And then you know you've got it safe and you don't have to dive for it. So then, the first thing we do is lift the DI tank out of the system. And I put it in a bucket, but if you're outside, there's no need to do that. Then, we want to take the lid off the system, and you'll see me you pull it out, and there goes the riser. So we can put that to the side. And now I'm going to teach you the fastest way to fill a DI tank. And remembering that there's a thread at the top, so we want to avoid getting beads of resin into the thread, even though we want to hose them off later. Now I'm in a studio now, so there's some things I can't do, so I'm going to explain to you how to do them. Yeah? But I'm going to show you as best I can how to fill a DI tank by using one of the most commonly available tools of road safety the road cone. And I've purposefully just got an old one here, so you know you don't have to go and buy a new one. What you do, the softer road cones are better than this. This is like a hard plastic one, but the soft ones, the bright orange ones, are much more softer, and you just chop the very bottom. There's a little lead lip there. Even though they're hollow, there's a little lip there, and just chop that. And what it'll do, it'll sit very neatly in here and just go beyond the thread. Yeah. So now we have a road cone sitting in there. Now, what I know is this road cone is not very stable. So, I just close that. Whoops, and then I lost the washer here. And we can grab a bag of resin. Yeah. Now, if the resin comes in a bag, you can, do it, you can actually pour it in. But if the resin uh, is in a drum, then it's better to scoop it in. Now, if you want to scoop it, it's better to use like a one liter container and just open the bag up and scoop one liter at a time. So there's two ways to get the resin. In this case, if I pour it, you'll see me like this. A little bit cumbersome. But I can pour it in like this, and you can see the resin just going straight into the tank. So we're just going to pour those resins in. If you scoop them in, you just scoop them in the same way. But the beauty of the road cone is that you're bypassing the thread. So these resins, little tiny little beads, are not going to get caught. Okay, now. There's a couple of tricks for this. If they get caught in the road cone, then you just tap it down, yeah? In this case, there's no problem. We can pour all of that in there. Oops, now I've got a block of stick. A little bit of plastic went in there, I think. Okay. So, a really quite sticky and very slippery underfoot, so don't do this on a, on a tile floor. I'm find that I've been a little bit aggressive, so I'm trying to get too much in there. But it will all okay. So I'll put that to the side, and the bag is out of the way. And you'll see here, just come quick, have a look here, and you'll see the resins are in the tank, yeah? So that's now full. Now, if you've got little beads that gather around the thread for any reason, then you just want to get the hose and just wash those out. 
you know, because you don't want them getting caught in the thread again, and you'll find that the system might leak from this area here. Okay, now the next thing we've got to do is actually get the riser to go into the tank, and it's got to find its way all to the bottom. So one of the tricks to that is we've got this little tool here, and this will come with your system, and what it does is connect a Gardena fitting to the fittings on the side of the system. And it's got a little protector here, which we can put to the side, and you'll screw this into the out. Okay, remember from the theory of how a DI tank works, the, the out is actually here. It's coming up and out is normal. So if we screw that on there, and we're going to push water in here. So let me run and get my hose so that it looks realistic. Remember, we're in the studio. So we've got the hose here, and we'll connect the hose to the out. Now, Remember what we said is that the out, this is designed to go out here, to gather the water from here and push it up and put, push it out from here. So we're going to take the tap water and push it through the out so that it comes down here. And sometimes you can get resin and you can just push the riser in, but sometimes it's really buggy and it's really strong. You don't want to force it. Yeah? So it's easier just to turn the tap on, right? So use a little on off valve. Turn the tap on, just a jet of water, and it'll push down, yeah, all the way through. And you can see this resin is actually quite soft, so I can get it all the way there without needing this device. But I can tell you, it comes in handy. Now, turn the water off. Yeah, disconnect this fitting here when you get to the bottom, and then you can just screw the lid back on until it grips quarter of a turn past that because you've got a rubber o-ring sitting in there and you've got yourself a refilled tank. 